what's up? Welcome to another prison story. I thought it would be fun to go through this book right here. This is the Arizona Department Corrections, Arizona State Prison, Perryville Women's Complex Inmate Handbook. What the heck did I draw in there? What is that? Look at me messing around, goofing off. Oh, look. There's a thing on the back. I wish there was a stronger word than I love you. Let's pretend there is and I just said it to you. Uh, let's go ahead and pop it open. I mean, I guess let's just go to the introduction, right guys? You have been assigned to the Arizona State Prison. Let me tell you something, okay? Let's just go back to when I actually received this handbook. I mentioned that I was in RNA. It's a place just for when you are being you know, where do you need to go? Are you, are you, are you vicious? Are you too vicious to be with them? When you're RNA, you just get your bag of stuff. You only have a jumpsuit and then like a couple pairs of underwear and a couple pairs of sports bras and socks. You do not get a few shirts and pants until you, until you get to your yard and you go through that warehouse. It's so funny. What size do you wear, hun? I wear a size small. Give her a large. <laughs> If you ever go, which I hope you don't, just always say the opposite. It's kind of like Fear Factor when Joe Rogan's like, what are you afraid of? Okay, you said you were afraid of cockroaches, so now we're gonna put your head in a cockroach uh, astronaut helmet for three hours. <laughs> You know, like don't, don't give it away. You have been assigned to the Arizona State Prison Complex, Perryville, ASPCPV. The Perryville Prison Complex houses all custody levels of female offenders and is comprised of seven units. While the principal goal of Arizona's Department of Corrections is to maintain the safe and secure confinement of Arizona's inmates, the infant, the emphasis, <sighs> sorry. The emphasis at the Perryville Complex is to provide a setting which supports and encourages your successful reintegration into society, offering a variety of programming opportunities, encouraging educational development, addressing issues that may have led to your incarceration. My work experience, I will say that most of it was positive. I understand that I am supposed to say officer. It was like at 2.30 in the morning. I am taking like two big trash bags of full of trash outside to the dumpster and she's standing out there. I forgot what her name was, Officer like Barracuda. <laughs> she was like, hey Porter. And I was like, hey girl, <laughs> like that. <laughs> forgot where I was for a second. Nobody was around, okay, lady. She was like, uh, you're gonna call me officer right now. I'm sorry, officer, it's, it slipped. Anyway, she brought me back to reality. Thanks a lot, you stupid. You're stupid. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I don't wanna, sorry, I feel bad about saying that. You're just doing your job. Encouraging educational development. <sighs> so annoying. You take, making the, us take those mandatory sixth grade class. And you make me feel stupid because you have to keep reminding me that it's sixth grade. I hate you. I passed it though. I passed all three of my tests after the third try. Let's go through the guards. There's Santa Rosa unit, minimum custody. There's Pius Tue unit, that's minimum custody. San Pedro unit, minimum custody. Santa Maria, minimum custody. I wasn't on any of those yards. Santa Cruz, that's the one I was on, medium custody. And then Brent Lemley was medium, maximum custody. Respect other inmates and their property. Maintain cleanliness of housing area, yard, and personal hygiene. What if the staff doesn't respect you? It's not anywhere in here, I looked. So formal count is at 0400. Yard opens and breakfast begins at 0430. Is that four or three in the morning? I, I don't know what that means either. I'm confused. But I do know what that means if I actually focus because I was like, oh, it's not that hard to, to tell military time. Formal count begins at 1100. Count clears, yard opens, be, and begin lunch. Lun <laughs> count clears, yard opens, begin lunch. 1200. Formal count begins at 1600. 1700 count, count, count. Stop it, Randy. Count clears, yard opens, binner. Binner, begin, begin dinner. 2130, informal count begins, and 2300, formal count. Yard closure for the evening varies for each unit. Our yard closed at eight o'clock at night. Passes are issued to notify inmates of scheduled appointments, such as classification or medical, or to authorize an inmate to be in an area that is otherwise restricted. There are two types of passes, a day paper 
and a monthly pass. So that's what this is called, everyone. It's called a day paper because you only get them in the daytime. We would be coming back from lunch and I see this little paper. You see, oh, oh shit, what does it say? You know, because sometimes it can say, you know, you need to go here, the doctor wants to see you, the CO wants to see you, the lieutenant wants to see you, this wants to see you, you don't have no money on your books. Shit. And so, oh, I lost my day paper. This one right here, I'll go ahead and read it to you. This one sucks. This one was to let me know that I had class. Porter, 263367. You are scheduled to attend orientation class. This will be held on 6-16-2011 at 5.30 p.m. Okay, not so bad. We don't have to get up at the crack of dawn. But that's because I had a nighttime job, so they were being kind about that. This is mandatory. If you are unable to attend for some reason, it is your responsibility to notify me prior to the class start date. Please bring something to write with and meet at visit. Citation, CO3 Lister. CO3, those are counselors. Those are ones you go talk to and stuff. And you want to find out, you know, how much time do I have left? Or am I going to be released soon? Wait, that was kind of the same statement, wasn't it? <laughs> the medical ones were the worst. It's like, be in medical, be in medical every freaking, freaking day. I don't want to go to medical. Because when you go to medical, it's never quit. Count procedures at regular intervals every day and at any time deemed necessary, every inmate must be accounted for unless you are on an out count. You must be in your assigned housing area with your ID card clearly displayed. During count periods, your ID card must be placed in your cell window. Movement is not allowed while count is in progress. I hated count, man. But then I kind of liked it because it would get very, very quiet. You will be assigned to the caseload of a CO3 located at your housing unit. They are available to assist you on a wide range of questions or issues. If the CO3s can't resolve the issues themselves, they will direct you to the appropriate staff member or department. Do not seek assistance from CO3s you are not assigned to. To see your CO3, write an inmate letter with your issue. Office hours are posted on each CO3's window. Actual, no. You go and you bang on that door when you see your CO3 or when they're coming through the prison you hound them like you're a paparazzi you can write your letter if you'd like but you're just gonna be sitting there being being very 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 irritated I'm just letting you know inmate discipline system inmates are expected to comply with all rules and orders of the Arizona Department of Corrections and its staff inmates who break these rules are subject to formal and informal disciplinary action it is your responsibility to know the rules and follow them a good rule of thumb to go by is if you are not sure Sure, whether you can do something, don't. Ask a staff member, especially if you're new to the system. Be especially careful of making an assumption that you can do something just because you see someone else doing it. They also may be doing something which is against the rules and they are aware of that. Therefore, they're being careful to not get caught. You may simply misinterpret what you see. You're responsible for knowing the rules and following them. We are, you already said that. How many times are you going to say that? The four steps of the discipline. Dis Hello? Disciplinar disciplinary brandy. Discipline disciplinary whatever, close enough. Processes are notification within 24 hours of the time that a staff member has a reason to suspect you have violated a rule. You will be informed verbally that you are on report. This may or may not be done by the staff member who is actually writing you up. Two, delivery of charge. The disciplinary coordinator, coordinator, the discipline, the disciplinary coordinator, fudge. The disciplinary coordinator will. <laughs> the disciplinary coordinator will call you in and formally deliver the write up to you. The coordinator will make sure that you understand the charge against you. If you cannot read, the charge will be read to you. If you are unable to represent yourself, you have the right to resent. You have the right. You have the right to request, you have the right, you have the right to request, request that a staff assistant be assigned to help you. So I never got a write up. There was a guard that was messing with me. Here's the thing. He was working with us during the night and he kept bugging me. He wanted to know what my Facebook was. I would just ignore him. I ignored him. I ignored him. I ignored him. He wanted to exchange something. What can I give? Right. Nothing except for whatever. He approached me with this. I think my, my reaction made him very nervous. He insinuated that he was gonna give me a write-up 
if I said anything because he knew what he said was way too far. Verbally telling me, I'll get, I'll give you this if you do this. I was just like, what? Dude, like this is supposed, it's supposed to be a safe space with uh, good programming, providing positive and productive work programs. He shut me up. The cool thing about it is that he moved yards, so I did not have to work with him anymore. Whew, I don't know. Oh my God, inappropriate staff and inmate relationships. Let's see what's inappropriate. Obviously sexual contact between an inmate and staff. Yeah, of course, happened a lot. Unnecessary physical contact between an inmate and staff, including hugs or kisses. A female officer, always trying to hug me. Stop trying to hug me. Staff's viewing of an inmate without a legitimate security interest while the inmate is using the toilet, showering, or dressing. I worked a night job where you were allowed to, and there was only five of us, we had a shower pass to where we were allowed to shower when we got home, which was sometimes 2.30 in the morning, 3, th 3 o'clock in the morning. I am actually feeling gross today because we, we cleaned the stupid grease traps. I was taking a shower. I never took that shower again. <laughs> never took a shower again. Nothing happened to me, but... Yes, I was being absolutely, I was, unfortunately, I was absolutely being watched. And it was not by a female. Do not solicit or accept gifts or favors from other inmates or staff. This is prohibited by the rules of discipline. Do not accept an offer from another inmate to provide you protection. <laughs> we had karaoke. And I actually wrote a song and it was called the prison song. I'm trying, I'm gonna look through this box because I know I wrote the words down somewhere. I don't remember who he was, but he was very mean. He was standing there and I actually made him crack a smile. <laughs> That was cool. But look, my friends made this and they were in the audience. It was so cute. It was like 800 girls and we're all just like doing karaoke on this little machine. Listen to you, hi. I'm gonna try to sing that song, okay. <clears throat> They've got me locked down, but they don't got me locked down. My soul can't be broken and my heart can't be stolen. So I will do my time and watch the days go by. Oh, your honor, your judge, please have mercy on me. I'm a good girl, I just made a mistake. I forgot the words. Oh, rise. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I hope you enjoyed this prison story. I hope it was, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. And there was a lot of reading. Would you like some more reading? Here you go. I am not my behavior. Is my heart that behavior? Is my soul that behavior? Is my mind that behavior? Is my body that behavior? Are all my senses that behavior? Are all my thoughts that behavior? Are all my feelings that behavior? Are all my behaviors that behavior? Are all my memories that behavior? Since you can easily answer no to each question, then you are not the behavior you judged or rated yourself to be. Okay? Boom. Don't forget that. All right, I love you so much. And until next time. Mwah. <laughs>